Well, we are a nation of bottled water drinkers. Yes, we are. In fact, one estimate puts U.S. consumption of bottled water and get this 50 billion billion bottles annually, but it's all water created equally. And how about the old H2O standby household tap water? Is it a healthy alternative? Let's meet a woman who knows a little something something about drinking water and what we should and should not be putting in our bodies. I want you to meet this morning wellness educator Michelle Thorne. Hey Michelle, good morning to Hi, you. Hi, thank you. Good morning to you. Good to see you here this morning, thank my you. fellow California girl from the San Francisco Bay Area, as am I. All right, so I wanted to ask you, how vital is quality water intake to our overall good health. Quality water is so vital. It's essential because water, especially municipal sources of water, a lot of municipalities, they just don't have the wherewithal to uphold the regulations or do the testing as often. So we'll find organic and inorganic chemicals, maybe some microorganisms that find that, that turn up in our water all the time. This is a glass of tap water, a beautiful jug of tap water. This is from our own water okay. supply here in our area, okay? So as I pour this, I want to talk about some of the things that might be found in this particular water, okay? So this came from our local water company. This is not an indictment of city, you know, uh, water nationwide, but I do want to share part of a survey that we found, okay? And this is what it says. And this is, by the way, from the Environmental Working Group. That's a Washington, D.C. nonprofit agency. Their findings related to our local drinking water. Seven chemicals exceeding health guidelines, 11 chemical pollutants found, excessive levels of contaminants, including aloacetic acids, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Obviously their findings, this is not, as I mm -hmm. said, an indictment, but is this an indication of things to be concerned about, not just here in our area, but nationally? Absolutely. I think is one of the biggest reasons why people turn to bottled water. Well, let's talk a little bit about that because when you talk about bottled water sales off the charts, off billions the charts. with a B, billions in sales annually, what are the reasons behind the success? I mean, I think people want convenience. They want to be able to take their water with them. It's interesting, I read an article just the other day, mm -hmm. an industry publication that said that non-carbonated water has reached six billion in the United States, six billion in sales in 2011. You know, we've got this competitive area, right, the uh, bottled water sales and that kind of thing. Yeah. Are there different approaches to processes and ingredients that stand out, you know, or, or one that you, let's say, find <clears throat> personally satisfying? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you start talking about contaminants, in your water, you really want to have a water that is, has a multiple filtration process. Okay. Like for example, Metromint is reverse osmosis, which is a multiple filtration process, which means it's getting out a lot of those inorganic, inorganic chemicals. It's getting out the microorganisms. So what are some things that we should consider when it comes to finding that healthy beverage? We want something that doesn't have calories. We want something that's all natural. There's no preservatives. We don't want any sugar in it, right? Mm -hmm. This yeah. country, we have an obesity problem. We don't need any more sugar in the drinks. We want a healthy alternative to juice and soda. Metro Mint is a really great alternative because it has not just the purified water, but it also has a really crisp mint taste that comes from real mint. So let me ask you about that because yeah. when I think about flavored waters versus something that may be infused, and I do see this on labeling, but I'm honest, I mean, to being honest here, I don't really know the difference. What's the difference between flavored and infused? Flavored gives an indication that there may be something that's artificial. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. There's no requirements that require companies to say whether the flavoring is organic or whether it comes from natural sources. And infusion is usually taken from a real thing. So, for example, with Metromint, they use mint that's grown in the United States. It's infused, it's pesticide free, and it's a proprietary process with Metromint, but it's infused in the water so it's crisp and clean and it's really refreshing. Making me thirsty just I thinking know. about it, Michelle. Where do we have any? I need some oh, right now. I know. Well, thank you so much for coming by and sharing this with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to learn more about the health impacting differences discussed on uh, bottled water, educate before you hydrate. Visit MetroMint.com. That's MetroMint.com.